In this video, I will show you how to remove red wine stains from sofa. You're in the midst of a fantastic evening, lounging on your favorite sofa with friends, enjoying a glass of deep, velvety red wine. Laughter fills the air until, out of nowhere, catastrophe strikes. That beautiful crimson nectar decides to make an unscheduled pit stop on your pristine sofa, leaving behind a glaring red wine stain. Panic sets in, but fret not. In this in-depth guide, we'll take you through every step of the process to rescue your beloved couch from the clutches of that stubborn red wine blot. You'll find not only expert advice, but also a trove of additional tips to ensure your sofa looks as fabulous as ever. When it comes to red wine stains, the golden rule is to act promptly. Time is your fiercest ally or your worst enemy, depending on how quickly you react. The longer that red wine has to settle into your upholstery, the more challenging it becomes to remove. So when the spill happens, don't let panic take the wheel. Step two, the gentle art of blotting. Start by gently blotting the stain with a clean white cloth or absorbent paper towels. Your aim here is to soak up as much of the wine as humanly possible. Do not, I repeat, do not rub or scrub. Rubbing can embed the wine further into the fabric, making the situation worse. Keep blotting until the cloth no longer shows any signs of the wine transferring onto it. Step three, baking soda savior. Enter baking soda, the unsung hero of household cleanup. Generously sprinkle baking soda over the stained area. Why? Because baking soda is like a magnet for wine. It absorbs the wine and lifts the stain. Give it about 15, 20 minutes to work its magic. Step four, mix your magic elixir. Grab a small bowl and mix a solution that's equal parts cold water and mild liquid dish soap. Think one tablespoon of each should do the trick. This concoction will be your trusty sidekick in breaking down the red wine stain and lifting it from the fabric. Step five, the soapy blot. Dampen another clean white cloth with your soapy water solution and once again, gently blot the stained area. Keep at it until you observe improvements in the stain. The goal is not to scrub, but to coax the wine stain into surrender. Step six, rinse with cool precision. Now with a fresh cloth, dampened with cold water, gently rinse the area to remove any lingering soap. Keep blotting until you've eradicated every trace of the soap residue. Step seven, the hydrogen peroxide Hail Mary, optional. If despite your best efforts, the stain endures, you can pull out the big guns, hydrogen peroxide. But before you go full throttle, take a moment to perform a color fastness test. Apply a bit of hydrogen peroxide, usually a 3% solution, to an inconspicuous part of your sofa's upholstery to ensure it doesn't affect the fabric's color. If the test is all clear, apply a small amount of hydrogen peroxide to the stain and gently blot. Hydrogen peroxide can be a game changer in breaking down the wine stain. But remember to rinse the area with cold water afterward to remove any leftover hydrogen peroxide. Step eight, excess moisture absorption. To further expedite the stain removal process, lay a clean dry cloth over the treated area and give it a gentle press. This clever trick helps soak up any remaining moisture from the upholstery. Step nine, let it breathe. Now give your faithful sofa some breathing room and let it air dry. Avoid using any heat sources like hair dryers, as heat can actually set the stain and possibly harm the fabric. Patience is your ally here too. In the world of red wine stains, persistence is your comrade. If, after allowing the area to dry, the red wine stain remains, don't throw in the towel just yet. These stains can be quite stubborn, so it may take a few rounds of the process to see the stain fully disappear. Additional tips and advice. Upholstery, fabric matters, Different fabrics require slightly different approaches when it comes to stain removal. Always consult your sofa's care instructions and adhere to the recommended cleaning methods to avoid any unintentional damage or fading of the fabric. Preventive measures. Consider safeguarding your precious upholstery by investing in sofa covers or slip covers. They're easy to remove and wash, providing an extra layer of protection during your social gatherings. Seek professional help. If all else fails, or if you're simply uncomfortable tackling the cleaning process yourself, don't hesitate to call in the professionals. They've got the expertise and specialized equipment to conquer those stubborn stains and breathe new life into your sofa. Regular Upholstery TLC. For the long-term health of your sofa, get into the habit of vacuuming it regularly to remove dust and debris. 
This routine maintenance will help prevent stains from taking hold and extend the life of your upholstery. In closing, red wine stains may seem like a catastrophe, but with the right strategy and a swift response, you can save your beloved sofa. Stay calm, take action, and follow the steps laid out in this guide. The additional tips and advice provided will help you keep your sofa looking pristine and prepare you for any potential future wine mishaps. So, go on and enjoy your gatherings, secure in the knowledge that you can handle those occasional red wine hiccups with poise. Your sofa will thank you for it. Did you enjoy this video? If so, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel.